This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at green chemistry. So we'll start by looking at the principles of green chemistry. They are to prevent waste, to maximize atom economy, to design less hazardous chemical syntheses, to design safer chemicals and products, to use safer solvents and reaction conditions, and to increase energy efficiency. Next, we have use renewable feedstocks, avoid chemical derivatives, use catalysts, not stoichiometric reagents, design chemicals and products to degrade after use, analyze in real time to prevent pollution, and minimize the potential for accidents. Next, we look at an example. Oseltamivir is used as an antiviral to prevent the spread of the flu virus. The synthesis of Oseltamivir requires shikimic acid which is extracted from the pods of star anise. Star anise has a limited worldwide supply. In 2005, a temporary shortage of star anise was caused by its use in the production of Oseltamivir. Another shortage in 2009, caused by the swine flu outbreak, caused the price of star anise to increase dramatically. Next, we look at some other problems with the production of Oseltamivir. The synthesis of Oseltamivir requires a complex 10-step process. The time required for its production is approximately 6 to 8 months. 30 kg of star anise produces only 1 kg of shikimic acid. Using the principles of green chemistry, the following advancements have been made. The first is the production of shikimic acid from the fermentation of genetically engineered bacteria. And the second is the extraction of shikimic acid from pine needles.